Hi, this is Carrie, your instructor, and I'm going to do this presentation on how to make an outline. Sorry, I just need to make sure that it's actually recording. Okay, so how to make an outline. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to start out by using the handout that you received about the paragraph outline. And so this should be the handout that we're going to go by to make this outline. Now understand that the assignment for this class, for any of the paragraphs that you're writing in this class, is that they must be seven sentence paragraphs. Because of that, we need to create a seven sentence outline. So right now, what I would like you to do before you do anything else is I would like you to look at your paper and I would like you to count your periods. So go through and either highlight or count all your periods. And then that way, uh, we can see how many sentences you have planned in your paper. So as of right now, if we go back to Ernesto's paper, we will notice that he has planned one, two, three, four, five, six sentences. If you have more than five, or sorry, more than seven, or less than seven, then you need to make sure that you are uh, eliminating sentences or creating sentences that you need. I don't know if I said five sentences before or seven sentences. We are making seven sentence paragraphs here. So your outline is the first step in making sure that you are doing everything you can. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that it looks like an outline. So understand that this outline that we are dealing with is a standard academic outline. And outlines in the college atmosphere are pretty standard. Many of your instructors are going to require an outline as some sort of rough draft for a paper they are collecting from you. And unfortunately, an outline that is just bulleted like this is not going to be acceptable for the assignments these teachers are collecting, or instructors are collecting. They're usually very specific about their expectations and what they want in the outline, so you want to make sure that you're doing everything you can. If you have a basic outline to start with, then the more specific outlines and the more elaborate outlines they will require will be easy to create. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to look at Ernesto's outline, which is bulleted, and we're going to go ahead and start to put it together into what looks like a normal outline. Now again, remember that, that your outline page needs to have your full heading and a title. If it's the second page in your doc, or if it's in with your regular document, it needs to be page two. If it's its own separate document, then it needs to be page one. But from the title up, it should look pretty identical to your paragraph from the title up. Now the outline is always the first step. So typically, if you're doing it the right way and you have it in the same uh, document, this entire area would be blank because you haven't started it yet. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to begin by fixing um, our formatting. Now you'll notice that when I click on CPCC that a yellow button up here becomes available. These are all auto formatting buttons and I do not encourage you guys to do any kind of auto formatting while you're using Word and that's because a lot of times the auto formatting in Word is different than the formatting your instructors would like to see from you, including me. So I'm going to encourage all of you to take off any kind of auto formatting you may have. So I'm going to unclick this button and we're going to get back to where we need to go. Now you'll notice that my outline did not go back to the margin. And that's because the auto formatting did make it jump in and we don't want that. So I am highlighting it. I am going to go here into page layout. Okay. And I'm either going to go into the format paragraph or I'm going to go right here where it already is. And I'm going to move my indent to zero. So now you'll notice that here are my margins, and my uh, uh, experimental outline is now exactly on the margin. Now, I call it word, word for Dummies, and it's because the auto formatting in Word assumes that you're an outlining, not so no, you know, knowledgeable person, and so uh, they are going to do things that are going to um, do the work for you. But again, that kind of makes you look not so educated sometimes because you're doing something opposite than what you should be doing. So let me show you how to make your own outline. So first of all, to make your Roman numerals, especially in Arial, you just hit a capital I, so it's Shift I, then a period, 
and then a tab. Now I'm going to hit the little P here. Now some of you, when you do this at home, which right now all you're doing is just marking up your outline. So you're marking up your outline so that you can fix it. But when you do this at home, you might get a little lightning bolt and you suddenly see Roman numeral 1 jump. Well, when you do that, if you hover over the lightning bolt and hit the drop down menu, you can get it to say stop creating automatically indented lists or stop creating automatically numbered lists or stop creating bulleted lists. You want it to stop doing that. But what I want to warn you is the moment that you click one of these buttons up here, it will start that auto formatting all over again and then you're going to be having a headache. Now remember that Roman numeral 1, according to our handout, is supposed to be our topic sentence. Now again, you'll see this is a seven sentence outline. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sentences. So we have one topic sentence, we have five supporting detail sentences, and one conclusion sentence. If you have more than one topic sentence or more than one conclusion, then unfortunately that's, that's not going to work for this class. So Roman numeral one is supposed to be our topic sentence. In your outline, it should be one of the few things that's actually written in a complete sentence. So then my Roman numeral two represents my body. So I'm going to hit a two and I'm going to hit my tab. Again, I've got my show hide button up here and that's how I've got, I'm showing my little arrows. Now I do need five detailed sentences, so I am going to make this first one a letter A. Then that means that this one should be a letter B. And that this one should be a letter C. And you're going to notice we have a random space in there. I'm going to go ahead and, and clear that out. Okay. Then this one should be a letter D. And they do need to be capitalized. And this one should be a letter E. Oops, I forgot to tab it. Let's tab it out. So with that, then we should have a Roman numeral 3 somewhere. And you'll notice that we are missing it. Right? Two, three, take this off, four, five, yeah, it looks like we're missing our Roman numeral three, so we're missing a conclusion. However, we've got a problem here. This one kind of looks like a conclusion, so for just a moment, I'm going to move this down. I'm going to move it here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to shift everything. Because this one, uh, sorry, not this one, but this one doesn't really look like a topic sentence because notice that this is very detailed information, something about CPCC possibly being 50 years old. Because this is a detail, a detailed piece of information, it can't be our topic sentence. For right now, I'm going to tell you that typically your topic and your conclusion look very similar and the same. So um, this would be an idea for our topic sentence. But as of now, right now, this looks a little more like what our outline should look like. Now what happens is some of you get really picky here and you want to make sure that you're indenting this information. Uh, what we want to be careful of is that if you find that your sentences are wrapping around, then that's probably not correct. If it's wrapping, then we're probably having some errors here. We want fragments and phrases. So if we want this one, obviously we can't do too much with. But here, okay, again, can't really do too much with it. Okay, we could say, put this one down to a fragment or a phrase. And then whatever, and then the, the co complete sentences are going to be our Roman numeral 1 and our Roman numeral 3. So this is just really quickly how to make your outline what it needs to be as far as creating an outline and formatting your paper. However, um, be on the lookout for the other uh, lecture that will show you how to make a topic sentence. Thank you very much.